What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video doing a credit card comparison because you guys seem to love these so much. I do these credit card comparison videos. So we're gonna be comparing two cash back cards that are pretty popular. One of them is from a credit union and the other one is not from a bank. So we're gonna be talking about this with SoFi and some of the credit cards. Well, the credit card offer we're getting here, some of the other offers they have available actually. The fact they're actually not a bank. A lot of people think uh, that they are, but they are not. So uh, we have really two non-banking entities here, but they're both financial institutions. So. Guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Again, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you being awesome, spending you know eight to 10 minutes of your day with me uh, in a video like this. You guys are great. I appreciate seeing everybody in the comments section who contributes. I love the thumbs up you guys give the channel. So this is fun for me to do, something new for me to do on a smaller channel than what I normally work with, but I'm enjoying it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Now let's go ahead and jump into this. What we're looking at here when it comes to these two different credit cards. Now, as we jump into here, Navy Federal with their cash rewards credit card. This is probably their most popular um, cash rewards one. Then we have the SoFi credit card, okay? Now, Navy Federal is a credit union, all right? They are not a bank, okay? And yes, you know, you don't have to be in the military to join Navy Federal. I've talked about that in I don't know how many other videos. Uh, you do not have to be a member of the military or a veteran to join Navy Federal, okay? You can join as a civilian. These are some of the ways right here that you can join uh, Navy Federal as well. Now, SoFi, like that social finance, right? It's the abbreviation. Social Finance Incorporated is founded by Stanford Business School students, okay? Now, while they offer many of the same products and services as traditional financial institutions, SoFi is not a bank. I think it's officially, what do they call it? A cash management system or something like that. It says on their website, like if you scroll towards the bottom, it'll say not FDIC insured. It'll say we are not a bank. It tells you on there that they're not a bank. So, you know, some people, they may feel a little uneasy about that, but Nonetheless, man, these fintech uh, companies and things like this, they're offering lots of things and you know different kinds of solutions and options that traditional banks don't offer. So they absolutely serve a purpose and have a place in the world of finance. Now, as we look at this, so Navy Federal's cash rewards card, okay? These are the sign-up offers from Navy Federal and from SoFi at the moment, right? So what Navy Federal's doing is they're offering you $250 bonus cash back when you spend $2,500 within 90 days of account opening. So... 10% return on spend, pretty common with lots of credit cards, okay? Now, SoFi, they're offering up to $100 when you open and fund a SoFi money and a SoFi invest, uh, investment account after getting approved for the SoFi credit card. So that's all you have to do to get $100 from SoFi. You can get up to $250 from Navy Federal. Now, these cards, best for both of them really getting cash back and everyday spending. Um, credits, you're going to need average to excellent with Navy Federal. Lots of people like Navy Federal because you don't have to have like the greatest credit score to get approved for some of these cards. Uh, the Visa uh, flagship card, you have to have um, pretty good credit for that. But a lot of their other credit cards, you know, you don't have to have really high credit. So far, on the other hand, they want you to have good to an excellent credit score. So 690 up to 850. So you got to have a pretty good credit score if you want to get a credit card with SoFi. Now, as we keep moving here. So here's some of the benefits they're offering right now. Navy Federal, right, there's no rewards limit or expiration while the account is open. You get 1.75% cash back with Navy Federal, so almost the 2% that you get with SoFi. But Navy Federal, the 1.75 comes with one important um, contingent, right, that you have to have, you have to be enrolled in direct deposit with Navy Federal. If you're not, you're still going to get 1.5% cash back, so that's not a bad deal, okay? A couple other things, cell phone protection, collision damage waiver, stuff like that that commonly comes with credit cards. Now over here with SoFi, all right? Now with SoFi, you're gonna get two SoFi rewards points for each dollar you spend on your SoFi credit card. You get 2% unlimited cash back on all purchases when you redeem it uh, to pay down eligible debt, save, or invest with SoFi. So basically, you're going to be getting... Um, you're gonna, well, here you go. This makes sense. So you get 1% redeeming for a SoFi credit card statement. So if you're just going to do a credit statement, uh, you're going to get 1%. So they're going to give you double the value, 2%, if you basically keep it within the SoFi network here and use it to pay down debts. So you have like a student loan or something, student loan consolidation um, loan that you have or something like that. So you use it to pay that down, to save or invest with SoFi. SoFi offers things like an IRA, Roth IRA. I think you can do SEP IRA. So if you keep the money within SoFi's network, they give you double the rewards. Um, they give you double the value is what they do, okay? Then you also get a $5 Lyft credit for every three rides taken in a month, once per month with Lyft. Cool. So also we look continue here with the benefits. SoFi, they give you a three-month free trial of Dash Pass for uh, non-members, a $5 discount on two orders each month for Dash Pass subscribers and a free annual membership 
to Shop Runner, which is valued at $79. So I'll give you a couple other benefits here with SoFi. Definitely seem to be targeting the millennial crowd, if you ask me. But moving forward, okay, so here's some of the things you get with this card, with both these cards, okay? So the Cash Rewards credit card, if maybe federal. Um, so if you spend 400 bucks with them, so with direct deposit, if you had spent $400, you could earn $7 cash back in store or online without member deals, or $27 cash back with member deals purchased. Navy Federal, if you shop their member deals on their site, you get a lot more points, a lot more value. Same thing, uh, without direct deposit, you spend 400 bucks, you could earn six bucks cash back, um, or 26 cash back with member deals purchases, right? Now, SoFi, here's what's unique about this card. This is with the whole thing with some of these, uh, with like online banks and stuff like this. This is the first credit card that lets you cash in on crypto. So the SoFi credit card now lets you redeem your points straight into, your, into crypto. You'll earn 2% cash back on all purchases and can redeem it directly uh, into crypto with your SoFi active um, investing account. So this is the first credit card that lets you do that. Go ahead and buy some crypto with it. I think I just saw on SoFi's website they added, um, was it seven new coins or something like that? So I'm sure they'll be adding more and more in the future. But if you're in the crypto space, you like to invest, this could be... Kind of interesting way to take some of your credit card points and then put them to use in crypto if you like. And then also if you make 12 monthly on-time payments of at least um, the minimum payment due, they'll lower your APR by 1% with SoFi. So another little added incentive for you there um, to you know handle your money well with SoFi. Now the fees you're gonna get with both of these, all right? Cool, is neither of these are, um, I mean, Navy Federal is not known for really high fees or anything like that. I mean, in SoFi, eh, better than some. So as we'll look here, so Navy Federal's cash rewards, annual fee zero, SoFi, their credit card zero for annual fee. All right, both have no foreign transaction fee. You're looking at cash advance or balance transfer fee. Um, Navy Federal zero on that. SoFi, you're looking at 10 bucks or 5% of each balance transfer. That's actually fairly normal, I would say, for credit cards. Uh, purchase and balance transfer variable APR. Navy Federal 9.65 to 18%. None of their credit cards go over 18%. SoFi, 12.99 to 24.99. So it's cool they come a little lower on this part here. And then late payment return payment fee up to 20 bucks Navy Federal and SoFi up to 39, so almost 40. So that's, uh, I would say, fairly common as well. And then, so you move forward here. So who can join, right? How do you join all these? All right, so Navy Federal, yes, you know, if you're military, you can join, all right? You're a veteran, cool. Um, reservists, uh, National Guard, if you're going, if you're in depth to go to basic training, DOD civilians, contractors, even family members of, of some of the above, even a roommate of someone who's in the military can join Navy Federal. SoFi, if you want to join and get this card, um, you have to be a U.S. citizen or an eligible permanent resident. You have to be at least 18 years of age, okay, to do this. You got to be within the U.S. or, the, or D.C. and you have to have a uh, valid social security number. Now, the application process, Navy Federal, you have to be a member, right? They're gonna do a credit check. Navy Federal usually does TransUnion, sometimes Equifax. Through talking, through, through my experience and through talking to people, it's usually TransUnion. Um, one rep at Navy Federal was cool. He told me 90% of the time he said it's TransUnion, 10% Equifax. Another rep told me 50-50. And then one time I got a rep who gave me the politically correct answer. He goes, well, we could pull any credit bureau. Like, yeah, I know you could, but you know the majority of the time, you do TransUnion and sometimes Equifax. So that's usually how it goes at Navy Federal. As um, if your application isn't approved, you'll receive a letter in the 30 days explaining the reason from Navy Federal. Um, even if it is approved, you do get a letter from Navy Federal that tells you the internal score that they have on you. I've done that, I've talked about that before in other videos, that's important. SoFi, if you want to apply for them, you go online, you're gonna put in your personal info, your financial info, you're gonna submit the application. Uh, you'll see a message saying that, you know, your application's um, in review. Now understand, it's going to be a soft pull to apply with SoFi, but it will be a hard pull if you get approved, and they also pull TransUnion as well. Um, SoFi on their website, all they show is TransUnion. Navy Federal doesn't tell you who they pull from on the website, but if you talk to certain reps, you do some research, you'll find out usually TransUnion and sometimes Equifax. SoFi, right on the website, it says TransUnion. That's what it says. So with all that being said, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel here. I appreciate you spending, you know, eight, nine, 10 minutes of your day with me on this one. If you're looking to get one of these two cards that are popular for getting, you know, 1.75%, 2% cash back. If you wanna put money in crypto, then hey, SoFi might be a good card for you. They both, for the most part, are gonna be pulling from TransUnion. So they do have some similarities between them. They both have some pretty good offers, but you know, you're just gonna have to go for whichever one you think is best for you. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for being so awesome. That is it. And until next time, keep growing your money.